Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Cohen and I am proud to announce that Google.com has officially inducted me into their Hall of Fame for identifying a security vulnerability that affected billions of their Gmail account users and probably even your own account via their online scalable storage system. So just to show you what the Google Hall of Fame is and where to find it, uh, as you can see within this uh, search result, you have it on uh, Bug Hunter with Google.com, and then you've got it uh, as well on Google.com. And it's a um, reward incentive program offering security experts a uh, financial incentive to uh, identify and report uh, vulnerabilities. and. I can be found inside of the honorable mentions uh, section and this is a place where researchers who have submitted valid bugs but don't meet the bar for reward. In just a second I'll be uh, explaining why I didn't meet the bar for reward but uh, once again I don't do this for financial incentive or notoriety. Uh, here by the way is my picture so you got a face behind the voice that's speaking to you and um, Google, once again, I'm quite thrilled that they published a little bit of a, a bio which reads that uh, Daniel Cohen is a world-renowned security researcher and the only expert on Earth to be publicly listed by Microsoft, Adobe, Apple, AT&T, and Google.com official websites for successfully penetrating their networks. His vulnerability reports and coding solutions have protected billions of online users worldwide. So once again, I am quite honored uh, by that acknowledgement, but this video, once again, is not about financial incentive and rewards or uh, notoriety. It's about uh, bringing awareness to um, security and privacy. So you'll notice to here on August 15, 2018, I submitted a vulnerability report uh, pertaining to drive.google.com, which is a scalable storage system that is cross-platformed into the Google uh, uh, Gmail account, offering you the opportunity to synchronize and save your files. And you'll notice that I reported that I had access to people's files and folders that otherwise I had no, uh, I didn't have their consent uh, to either view or edit those files. Now once again, this is traditionally um, a service that allows you to store and uh, share files and basically give user privileges to each person you would be sharing the file with. So, um, as you can see here, here's some of your options. And it dynamically generates a URL link for people to access the file. And again, depending on the privileges, sometimes you're allowing somebody to edit the file, others can comment, and um, sometimes you give privileges that people can download the files. So this system um, basically was designed for you to synchronize your files to google.com no differently than your iPhone synchronizes to the iCloud. And what I'm going to be discussing a little bit about in this video is once again uh, the vulnerability which by the way it has been plugged and I get back to my emails I'll show you a little bit about the conversation the back and forth that I had with them but Having your files uh, automatically uploaded to their drive.google.com is potentially very dangerous should a hacker be able to penetrate the system. So once again, on August 15, 2018, I submitted this report. And there was a little bit of back and forth as I I uh, also submitted some code that I had written to plug the vulnerability and it took a little a couple of days before they were actually able to designate a Google engineer to look it over 
And basically, on September the 5th, 2018, it was finally solved. Now, I should note that between August 15th uh, and September 5th, there's 21 days, because again, August has 31 days within that month. So that's three weeks. Now, pay attention to their response, which reads that they uh, have gone over and determined that it is a duplicate of an existing already tracked bug. So in other words, prior to August 15th, they knew that, and this could have been days, months, uh, that they knew that this vulnerability existed, allowing billions of these online files to be uh, viewed, edited, downloaded, copied, and so forth. Now, once again, um, now my name here on uh, in the acknowledgments, whether it be on Microsoft, Adobe, Apple, AT&T, or Google.com, and there's several others out there that I'm not mentioned because I don't do this for notoriety uh, nor for financial incentive. I don't extort companies. I write the code really fast and submit it to them so that they fix it. So. I want to give you some proactive steps that you can take to secure yourself. First and foremost, if you're uploading files, make sure that you're uh, encrypted and as well password, uh, password protected. Now, this is the section that you should probably be checking on drive.google.com to see what files are uploaded as well to see if they are being synchronized uh, either via your computer or your, uh, your uh, cellular devices, whether it be your telephone or your uh, your, your cell phone or your uh, tablet, but again, your um, computer or your uh, iPhone or uh, otherwise Android could be automatically uploading via apps or, uh, uh, you know, their configuration to this drive.google.com. You really, if you're going to be storing these files on their servers, make sure that they are encrypted and password protected. Now, Going just a little bit back to my uh, my own bio, I want you to notice here that on my, as far as Microsoft, uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with Windows, which is hundreds of millions of computers worldwide. I should not be that person that had you know at the click of a button access uh, to penetrate everybody's computers. And Adobe, I'm sure you've heard of Flash. A couple of years ago, I made a proof of concept that I could uh, flip on anybody's microphone or webcam and penetrate their computers uh, via Adobe's uh, Flash. And as far as Apple's concerned, I mean, my God, not only have you submitted your fingerprint on your telephone, but today there's more recently facial recognition. And as well, they can, you know, geo pinpoint your location. So, should the telephone or the cloud be penetrated, all your information is out there. Now, AT&T is the one of the largest US uh, a telephone companies in the world, and uh, a guy like myself should not have access to your um, telephone uh, logs or your inter internet usage. And of course, once again, Google whether we're talking about your uh, email communications or your personal files, you really must take proactive steps to securing um, your uh, privacy. Because while I'm sure that these Fortune 500 companies mean well, there is a bit of incompetency and the internet is very dynamic uh, to the extent that every other day uh, new bugs and vulnerabilities uh, present themselves and they undermine the uh, integrity of uh, existing security uh, measures. And I just want to uh, note in final words that the founding principles of freedom is both security and privacy. So in other words, if you don't have security and privacy, you don't have freedom. So from me to you, please do take those proactive steps to securing yourself uh, and don't put your fate in uh, the hands of uh, these Fortune 500 companies. 
and take it for granted. And uh, with that said, I wish you all a superior online experience.